What's up, everybody? Gibson's Lawn Service checking back in. Boy, look here, check this out. I got up this morning. Boy, look here, I got up this dog on morning. Look, this job I'm working, right? They got an app. <laughs> they got an app. This job I'm working, they got an app. Well, you can check your paycheck. Well, you, you can print out a pay stub. Like, you know, some people need to print out a pay stub, go buy a vehicle. And they got this app. You can look at your hours and look at your check stub. Typically, the check stub will come out two days before, well, about a day before you get paid. See, I get paid tomorrow. I get my check tomorrow. But look, I woke up this morning after sleeping good. I look, I looked at that app. These folks shorted me. $300 on my check. Now keep in mind, this is the Christmas check. Now imagine, imagine if I was living paycheck to paycheck. And look, imagine if I was telling my wife, yeah, honey, I get paid Thursday. And Thursday, when I get my check, it's gonna be X amount of dollars. And I go buy that last little bit of Christmas stuff. And you get that dog on paycheck and it's $300 short. Your light bill do. Your phone bill do. You gotta buy Christmas, you gotta buy groceries for Christmas. And you gotta tip you you gotta buy groceries, period. And you was going to get this last three hundred dollar gift and your check is three hundred dollars short. But look, you supposed to flip somebody tape below. You supposed to go down there to HR act the boom. You supposed to go down there to HR, flip somebody tape below and cuss everybody out, act the dog on food, and then when you get to work tonight, don't do nothing. <laughs> but look, I got out my dog on bed. I grabbed my phone. I pulled that app up. I looked at that paycheck. I said, something ain't right. I went to scrolling. I looked at them hours. I said, okay, my 40 hours is correct. And I looked at that 10 hours of time and a half. <laughs> I look here, look here, look, look, look. I looked at that 10 hours of time and a half. It said 1.0 instead of 10.0. Boy, I said to me, you know what I did? I, did, I immediately, I got up, went to that bathroom, looked in the mirror. I said, this is this is what you get for going to work a job. And I said to myself, this is what you get for not managing your money. I said, this is what you get for relying, for relying on somebody else to feed you. But I look here. I went and got my drill out the truck. I took that mirror down at my bathroom. I'm ashamed to look at myself. Look, I took the look, I took the review mirrors off my truck, the side mirrors off my truck. I don't even want to look at myself because I'm so ashamed and I'm embarrassed. This is what you had. this is what happens when you go work for somebody else. <laughs> and they don't care. Uh, let me call HR. Hey, uh, uh, Mr. Gibson, the person that handles the time is on vacation and they won't get back to after the new year. So I called my subcontractor, uh, Mr. Gibson, we can only pay for what they sent. It's showing you worked Monday, you missed Tuesday, I did. You worked Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and it shows you worked Saturday, Mr. Gibson, but you only worked one hour. I said, man, I worked 10. Well, Mr. Gibson, that's what they sent us. So we didn't pay you for per diem on Saturday because you only worked an hour. <clears throat> But if you're telling me that uh, they owe you for 10 hours, we will go back and repay you, but we need something from the company. Where about I talk to you on vacation? I understand, Mr. Gibson, I apologize. I understand that this is your Christmas check, but we won't be able to do anything until Shelly gets back in town. Call my, well, I ain't call my supervisor, text. Hey man, did you pay me for an hour Saturday 10? My page for 10. When I get to work, get from a look at the paperwork. I know I put you in for 10. <laughs> uh, three, uh, your check is $300 short. I ain't nothing you can do. I ain't a doggone thing you can do. Now imagine if I was working for that piece of trash supervisor. Remember I told you he wrote my buddies up last night. Imagine if I got wrote up last night. Then my check, ten, then my check $300 short. And I'm coming to work mad. And that same supervisor. Man, you can't be on your phone. Hey, look here, you mf -er. You already done shot my check 10 hours. Now you're breathing down your, my neck. I'm fixing to whoop some behind out here. That's how it happens. <laughs> and look, all of this stems. Boy, look at that F350. Boy, look at that. I got it. Damn. 
and. Buddy rolling like that? Oh, and. Now imagine, look, you Doug, you going through all that. Imagine you going through all of that. <laughs> this is what happens when you depend on somebody else to feed you like you're a baby. This is what happens when you go work for somebody else. They treat you any kind of way. They write you up. They short your check. Oh, we'll put it on the next check. But it's Christmas. That's what they really want to say. Look, man, we tried to steal 10 hours for you, but I forgot you poor like the rest of the guys. We seen Gibson's lawn service on the side of your truck. We know you're getting a check from YouTube. You're still cutting grass and you're coming out here welding. We figure since you say on YouTube your bills are paid up, you would miss $300. Oh, but we see you're poor like everybody else. Uh, we'll put it on the next check whenever we get back in town. That will happen when you work with somebody else. <laughs> they don't care. If I got an employee and they say, man, my check such and such short. I'ma call my HR department. I'ma say, hey, did y'all, oh, uh, did y'all, uh, when y'all did the hours, did y'all short James check ten hours? Oh yeah, we did. We can put it on the next one, or we can cut him another check. Man, no, nah, I'm going straight to the bank, getting cash. How much we paying him out? Twenty dollars an hour. How many hours he short? Ten hours. Two hundred. We, Mister Gibson, you gotta take taxes out. Man, screw that. Go to the bank, grab two hundred cash, meet up with the crew, cash him out on the spot. Man, sorry about that, man. That's how you handle that. You think this million dollar company care about me? I'm a subcontractor. <laughs> man, I'm a number. I'm a number. And I see, I understand that. Ain't no sense in me going to work, cussing somebody out, acting a fool, flipping somebody table over. Hey, man, it is what it is. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care, man, it is what it is. Man, what if they don't pay you? Let me explain something to you. This is motivation for me to get my behind, to get my st stuff in order next year. That way, look, that way when I go to a client, hey, you ain't paid that bill. Uh, money's tight, you're fired. When you're dealing with a company, it's kind of, it's like pulling teeth getting your money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you can just wait and with a smile on your face, or you can wait with a frown on your face. Either way, you ain't getting paid. <laughs>